we will solve the problem 21 of chapter 26 we are given here there is a tube with adiabatic walls these walls are adiabatic all through and the partition between the two this partition which I am showing by the green color this partition between the two chambers this volume V0.2 this is V0.2 and this is diathermic means there can be exchange of heat vice versa across the two chambers but the whole system if you see the whole system if you see will remain adiabatic means it will not exchange any heat with the outside world there may be exchange of heat between these two chambers but outside no exchange of heat this is important now for this side the equation is delta Q1 is equal to delta U1 plus delta W1 and for this side the equation would be delta Q2 is equal to delta U2 plus delta W2 initial pressure was P1 here temperature was T1 and initial pressure was P2 here temperature T2 and let the final pressure be P1 dash here and P2 dash here and temperature be T on both the sides finally when the equilibrium is reached now since the wall is fixed this diathermic wall between the two is fixed the work done by both the compartments will be zero because there is no change in the volume so this becomes zero so what we have is delta Q1 is equal to delta U1 and delta Q2 is equal to delta U2 this is important and if you look at the entire system the exchange of heat would be equal to delta Q1 plus delta Q2 total exchange of heat and which is zero there is no exchange of heat the outside environment so delta Q1 will be equal to delta Q2 minus and delta Q1 is equal to delta U1 so therefore delta U1 plus delta U2 is also equal to zero now we are given the relationship from this we can find the number of moles here and number of moles here are n2 let me write this equation p1 v0 upon 2 is equal to n1 r t1 and p2 v0 upon 2 is equal to n2 r t2 let the final temperature be t now when the final temperature is T the change in energy of U1 is equal to 3 upon 2 that is 1.5 which is given N1 R T minus T1 and the change in energy for U2 is equal to 3 upon 2 N2 R T minus T2 and sum of these two is equal to equal to 0 so n1 t minus t1 plus n2 t minus t2 is equal to 0 which means t is equal to n1 t1 plus n2 t2 upon n1 plus n2 put the value of n1 and n2 here from these equations so n1 t1 so t becomes n1 t1 is how much P1 V0 upon 2 upon R this is P2 V0 upon 2 upon R this is N1 T1 plus N2 T2 and what is N1 plus N2 N1 plus N2 will be P1 V0 upon twice R upon T1 plus P2 V0 upon twice R upon T2 so this is the value of temperature equilibrium temperature you can further solve these equations it becomes v0 p1 plus p2 upon v0 you take common here it is p1 t2 plus p2 t1 which becomes p1 plus p2 upon and into this is t1 into t2 this becomes T1 T2 upon P2 
P1 T2 plus T1 P2. This is the value of the equilibrium temperature. From this relationship we can find using this and also the this relationship of our ideal gas P1 V0 upon 2 upon T1 is equal to P1 dash V0 upon 2 upon T which is the final temperature that is for the first partition you can get from here the value of P1 dash would be equal to P1 upon T1 into T and similarly value of P2 dash will be P2 upon T2 into T. Put the values there, you get P1 dash is equal to P1 upon T1 into P1 plus P2 upon into T1 T2 upon P1 T2 plus T1 P2. This gets cancelled, so you get P1 T2 P1 plus P2 upon P1 T2 plus T1 P2. This is the value of P1 dash. Similarly, you can find the value of P2 dash will come as P2 dash. You use this equation. So it is P2 upon T2. And what is the value of temperature? Temperature we have found is this one. P1 plus P2 into T1 T2 upon P1 T2 plus T1 P2. To solve this, you get P2 T1 into P1 plus P2 upon P1 T2 plus T1 P2. So we have found these relationships for the pressure, temperature. Temperature is same in both the compartments. Pressure will be different. Now we have to find out what is the heat exchange that is very easy we can simply find delta u1 because delta u1 will be equal to delta q1 and magnitude of delta q1 and delta q2 is same as we have seen it's only sign is different now delta u1 it will be equal to 3 upon 2 r n1 t minus t1 we solve this we get 3 upon 2 R N 1 and final temperature we have found final temperature was how much final temperature relationship we have already found here so put this value P1 plus P2 T1 T2 upon P1 T2 plus T1 P2 minus T1 when we solve it we get 3 upon 2 R N 1 upon P1 T2 plus T1 P2 into P1 T1 T2 plus P2 T1 T2 on solving this further we get P1 T2 plus T1 P2 is the denominator and here you get these two gets cancelled T1 T2 into P2 this gets cancelled and finally you have P2 T1 into T2 minus T1 is the relationship for the change in energy and if you look at the initial relationship for N1 we have P1 V0 upon 2 upon T1 is equal to N1 R. So N1 R T1 we can replace. N1 R T1 we can replace. We can write it as P1 V0 upon 2. So we get the relationship as on solving it we get this relationship of change in energy U1 which is nothing but delta Q1 is delta U1. So since it is positive we have taken t2 is greater than t1 so heat is flowing into the chamber 1 and flowing out of the chamber 2 the total heat loss is zero so this is the answer as far as the exchange of heat is concerned so the problem is solved